Let me introduce you to the accuracy paradox. The accuracy paradox states that a protective model with low protective power can have higher accuracy than one with higher protective power. In order to unpack this paradox, I will use the following example. So let's imagine that you started work in a robotics company and your first job was to enable this robotics vacuum cleaner to detect shoes. So you frame the problem as binary classification and you train a model. However, your model was really bad. It simply randomly classifies 99% of the input images as not containing a shoe. In order to simulate what happened when you tested your model on board the robot for the first time, I will use the following code. I will use a discrete random variable to generate and simulate the ground truth labels, with the assumption that there was 10% chance that a, a shoe will appear in the field of view of the robot during the run. I will use another discrete random variable to simulate and generate the output from your model, with the assumption that this model will randomly detect uh, a shoe in an input image with a, with a, with a probability of 1%. Let's sample 10,000 labels from these two distributions and calculate the accuracy. You might be predicting now that the accuracy must be really low because the model simply randomly predicting shoes in the input images. The accuracy is the proportion of the total number of predictions that were actually correctly classified. When we do the calculation, we notice that the accuracy is almost 90%, very high and unpredictable. The reason here is because of the true negatives. Our model is very good at not detecting a shoe, which is the thing we are not interested in. This is an example of high accuracy with very low protective power. So what's the solution to this paradox? The solution to this paradox is to use better metrics, and today I will introduce you to two metrics, namely precision and recall. In our example, precision is the percentage of the correct shoes, shoe detections from the total detections made by the model, and recall in our example is the percentage of the detected shoes from the actual shoes that appeared in the field of view of the camera during the run. When we do the calculation, we notice how bad this model is. It's recall 1.1% and precision is 8.8%. A fun way to look at recall and precision is through their probabilistic interpretation. They are conditional probability, which states that for precision, given that the model made a detection, what's the probability that there's a shoe really in front of the robot. For recall, it says, given that there is a shoe in front of the robot, what's the probability that the model will detect this shoe correctly? The, the take home message from this is, accuracy is not always the best metric, and you have to use the metrics which suit the problem you are solving.